If this a game, 2K, one of a kind. 2K, best by my thigh. 2K, friends I don't fly. Ooh, a monkey barrage. Uchi hot test on my highs. What's going on, guys? I think I'm Hercules here. And today I want to talk about, um, let's do another versus battle, guys. You know, it came up to me uh, today, as you guys can see. My most viewed video to this day is Tindle vs. Guardians. And then second most viewed video is Tindle vs. Guardians Part 2. What I'm going to try to do is just think of the most, uh, you know, this, this, I like, why him? You know, like, find game characters and just make them battle each other with as much analysis as I can get. Using things like the versus battle wiki, my own gameplay experience, and and also guys in the comments adding things like how if you look like right here in the, in, in the Tunnel versus Guardian comment section, there are several times where people fix me, correct me. I'm not the know all be all, you know. So let's just get right into the video. Uh, we're going to be talk about Jack Wernin from Bioshock versus Corvo Atano from Dishonored. This is going to be a good one. Both of these guys are just like regular human beings just that just happen to have a few powers. Like, I'm talking like, but I'm saying this like this. If either one gets shot in the heart in like real life, like, you know, like in reality, they'll probably die, you know, a shot in the head. Like, they're both mortal, extremely mortal people. It ain't like we're going to, like, Guardians versus Tetna. So, with that mortality being so valid, it's going to be a good one. Let's get into it. And, guys, until the subs go up, I'm sorry I got to do this. If you like the video, please like, share it. To your friends, subscribe, please give me that sub. I need that. I'm hungry. I eat any sub. Let's get into the video. Now, some of you guys may think the biography of the person may not be that big of a deal. But to know who someone is, like, that, that's, that to me is an important part if we're going to you know, on my channel, I always want to look at who the current is because everything matters. Like, when you're doing battles, your mindset matters, your upbringing, everything matters. So, here we go. Corvo Atano is the protagonist of Disarnit and one of the two player boot protagonists of Disarnit 2. Previously an agent and bodyguard to Empress Jessamine Caldwin, Corvo is stripped of his title of Lord Protector and imprisoned by the Usurper, Royal Spotmaster Hiram Barrows, on the pretense of having murdered the Empress and abducted her daughter Emily Caldwin. After escaping from confinement on the eve of his execution, Corvo becomes either an assassin or a vigilante for the Loyalist Conspiracy, eliminating Burroughs, Confederates to clear his name, avenge the Empress' death, and restore, the, uh, and restore Emily to the throne. Jack Warner. Jack is the protagonist of Bioshock whom the player controls throughout the game. He is a young male who, prior to his unwilling arrival to Rapture, was a passenger on an airplane that crashed near the lighthouse that provided entry to the underwater city. During his journey through Rapture, Jack comes across a number of gene-altering substances known as plasmids that he uses to empower and protect himself. Jack is the illegitimate son of Andrew Ryan and Jasmine Jolene, Ryan's mistress. He was to be Fontaine's backup plan if he ever was forced into an unfavorable situation by Ryan, which happened during Rapture Civil War. Sometime in 1958, before Fontaine faked his own death in a shootout with civilian forces, or Sullivan's forces, sorry guys, Jack was smuggled out of Rapture in a bad despair and sent to the surface as a sleeper agent living out his pre-programmed life as Jack Winan until Frank Fontaine activated him. Upon Fontaine's summons using the trigger pulse, would you kindly? Jack boarded a plane in 1960 that passed near Rapture's location in the North Atlantic, then hijacked it, forcing it to crash land at the coordinates of the lighthouse, the main entrance to Rapture. So that is the entry. Uh, so now that we did the bio wiki, right, like I always do, guys, this is the summary of both of them. Corvo essentially was an assassin, right, or, or was a protector to the queen. The queen gets killed. Um, he gets blamed for that. He has been dishonored. And through that, he... he Oh, he goes on a war path. And as for Jack Wine, and he is just, I want to hide the big thing about Jack to later. I mean, obviously most people know, but Jack is just a man who was sent away and brought back. And he's a, he's a sleeper agent. So Jack is a sleeper agent, essentially. And Corvo Tano is a protector slash assassin. I like it how it already go because they have differences right there. Now, what we're going to look at next, guys, is powers and stats. Let's get right into it. Alright, here we go, guys. Let's talk about powers and abilities. This is always the longest segment. So you guys know it's probably just going to be three segments. Summary, powers and abilities, my deduction of what happened throughout the first two things because there's nothing more to these people other than they're fighting. We don't need no more than that. 
All right, guys, so we're going to go through some quick notes, and then we're looking to uh, the good things. We're looking at Koro, of course, first. So Koro attack potency is small building, right? His speed is subsonic, superhuman lifting strength. Durability is small building level. He can survive grenades and etc. Stamina is equal to two fully healthy fit men. Uh, he can teleport at max seven times before needing to recover. His intelligence is high. Most skilled in, in his current world in hand-to-hand -hand combat and espionage. Is it pertains to special abilities? Real special abilities. He boasts to outside his mark, right? And it gives him a boast of uh, supernatural abilities like blink, dark vision, devouring swarm, possession, bend time, wind blast, vitality, bloodthirsty, agility, shadow kill. Now... That I feel like that's the most important thing as it pertains to you know Corvo Atano. So let's actually look at what those abilities do. So no one, when I come up with my conclusion, no one debates me. Blink is a supernatural uh, power to rapidly traverse mid-sized distances almost instantly without being detected. Dark vision is a supernatural ability used by Corvo Atano to alter his hindsight, allowing him to spot enemies and visually altering him to the noise he makes. Devouring Swarm. Devouring Swarm is a supernatural ability to summon forth a swarm of ravenous rats from the void as it means of an offense. Rats summoned by Corvo do not fall under his control. <laughs> Possession. Possessing the supernatural ability to merge corporeal with creatures, allowing Corvo to tunnel to bypass guard patrols and travel unharmed past walls of light and arc pylons. So most of these things pertain to his world, if you didn't realize. But not this. Bend time. Bend time is the power to stop or slow time completely. The ability can be used in the setup of attacks, move on nose, or simply escape from dangerous situations. This is going to be the most clutch thing that Corvo Atano has. Bending time and blink. I think those are like one and two. Like bend time is one, blink is number two. Next up is Wind Blast. Wind Blast is the uh, supernatural ability that creates gusts of wind that can be used in an offensive attack to damage enemies or knock them off their feet. The ability can be used in the way from smashing doors to pushing the enemy off a roof so that he pummels to his death. Vitality is a power that increases health and grants the ability to heal quickly. This is a passive power that requires that does he doesn't need to do anything to get that. Bloodthirsty. Bloodthirsty is supernatural ability to brutally kill enemies with the help of an adrenaline rush. Agility. Agility increases jumping ability and movement speed. Shadow kill. As a result of, of the mark being bestowed upon them, the outside of Corvo possesses the supernatural ability to shadow kill, which turns the slain opponent to ash, eliminating the need to hide bodies. So if he's only fighting one by so abilities that don't matter, in my opinion, guys, after reading through this, shadow kill doesn't matter. Possession may not matter, because I, I I don't believe Jack to be one to be possessed. And that's it. And dark vision doesn't matter because I think they're always I mean, unless this battle is going like Corvo is hiding and he's shooting with a bolt and he's hiding more, but I think once we get down to what Jack Winning can do, there is no hiding from him. So, that's uh that's it for right there for Corvo, guys. Now, for Jack Winning, let's actually just, like we did before, we're going to go through... Sorry for that. You got to take it. It's a, it's a, I'm doing a long clip, guys. You got to accept it. Um, So, Jack's attack potency is building level. Speed, peak human. Peak human lifting strength, durability, building level, stamina, high. His intelligence is gifted. Now, let's actually go through some of these things because the gift of intelligence is something that I, whenever I don't see something often, it makes me interested in what does that mean. So here we go, intelligence gifted. Jack is naturally high skilled with a variety of weapons, including blunt objects, firearms, explosive, and chemicals, and has shown the ability to use these weapons to a high degree of skill moments after obtaining them. He is also skilled with a wide variety of abilities, provided the class mis his body is infused with, showing the ability to utilize all of his powers extremely tactically. Utilizing the environment to his fullest advantage, setting traps, and using misdirection to constantly keep his opponents off balance in any given situation. He is also naturally a skilled hacker, displaying the ability to hack things ranging from locks, safes, vending machines, turrets, complex security systems, and drones. And shows the ability to build advanced technology as well as hackers such as experimental elect electromagnetic bomb. His intelligence is further augmented by gene tonics, allowing him to implant the knowledge of a number of different skills directly into his Genetic code, granting him skills ranging from maximizing the yield of constructive items from bare minimum components to even mundane skills such as being a piano master player. What the fuck? That intelligence gifted is going to be like, I think that intelligence gifted versus the blink 
and the bend time is gonna be good because cool like that intelligence gifting in my opinion supersedes the subsonic speed it supersedes superhuman strength it supersedes this durability his stamina it, it supersedes everything except teleporting and bending time so man let's get wow i'm actually like what the hell i didn't uh, guys, by the way, I'm looking at this the first time with you guys. I wanted to go in here blind. Jack's actual powers and abilities. Jack hosts an array of abilities uh, through the means of plasmids. So, here we go. Jack has Cyclone Trap, Electro Bow, Enrage, Hypnotize, Big Daddy, Incinerate, Insect Swarm, Security Boys Eye, Sonic Boom, Target Dummy, Telekinesis, Winter Blast. And that is uh, all the uh, just plasmids, like actual abilities he has. Along with tonics, he has things that can prevent bludgeoning damage. He has, you know, things that disperse electrical discharges when he gets hit. He has things like, you know, making his wrench, his melee weapon stronger. Um, he has things that can reduce, like, heat damage and increase his heat damage. So, this is actually going to be good, guys. Um, with all the powers, abilities, and everything else set up, let's get into the video. <laughs> All right, guys, we're actually going to do this in four parts. We're going to call part three, my deduction. So, in my opinion, I'm looking at this, right? Um, Corvo, Corvo really needs Ben Time and Blink to win this battle. Okay, guys, because here was the big thing I was hiding for so long. Jack is only four years old, right? Jack Winding. But he has been pumped. With so many genetically altering things. And also, this is where your verse come into, right? Like, Corvo can't just embed his... his like if, if Corvo has a weakness in th something that he's not good in, he can't just embed his genetic code and, and switch it like that. It just don't exist in his realm. Whereas Jack Winan, he can... If he can't hit hard enough, there's a plasma that'll make you hit harder. Or a gene tonic. And he, he literally can just... Whatever he can't do... Gain the DNA of something that can inject it into, like, you know, like, plasmids is going to be the biggest thing, or, or gene, plasmids slash gene tonics, and I just find it very hard, like, I just don't know, I just don't see, like, it, and he go on again, guys, disclaimer, I know more about Bioshock than Dishonored, so if you guys, please, in the comments, tell me I'm wrong, because right now, I'm looking at it, and my deduction is telling me, Jack whoops his ass badly. So let me tell you how this battle goes in my opinion, guys. Uh, Koro, I mean, I, I don't know why they're fighting, but they're fighting. Just Let's just get over that part. I'm not one of guys' scenarios, right? Um, They're fighting, and I just feel as though Jack's superhuman... Well, man, it's not even beyond superhuman. It's, it's his gifted intelligence fused with an array of plasmids and tonics and traps and all the things that he can do. I just see Jack Winan winning this battle. As you can see, like, Corvo, if Corvo gets into the midst of, like, a, a, in a real situation with a bunch of fucking people, he's gone. Whereas Jack Winan is fighting literally genetically altered Physically, physically enhanced people throughout the entirety of the game. And sometimes he fights so many of them. Sometimes you're fighting like 20 splicers at once. Like they're, they're, they're coming in waves, of course, but they're fighting like... So I just look at that and then I just look at his durability. I don't know what what he can do. What can Corvo do there to kill him? Like, I don't think bullets is enough to kill him, right? Because, you know, along with Adam, you have Eve or whatever or... um. Not uh, Eve, I'm sorry, guys. You have tele, uh, medical. He can pop syringes in him, right? So I'm just like, I, I just I just don't know. Like, if you guys can prove me wrong, he has, I, I feel like he has enough of everything to win. Now, this is where situations, right? That's the, the situation in which Jack Wayne wins. He wins most of the time. Like, if they just fight Insect Swarm, you know, let's say Corvo teleports away from the insect swarm. Where he stops time and stops all the insects. The time stops for a limited time. Okay, time is stopped. You're not going to kill Jack Winan in that time that it takes to 
do that. I mean, are you going to... Right, so let's say... Like, that's the, that's the situation in which Corvo wins. If he stops Times instantly and beheads him, right? But I just don't... Like, I just don't see that happening, right? Because if you look at any fight that's a fight, no versus battle, no one ever uses their, like, absolute best thing from the beginning and ends the match expeditiously. Like, this has to be a fight, right, guys? So Corvo... When Cor I, I just don't see it. I just don't see Corvo stopping time. And actually being there, I could see him prolonging the battle. But if you can see the thing is espionage, and then with all the, you got to think about, like, guys, everyone is picked by a shot. Think about how many tonics you have by the end of the game. I think it's like 30 slots worth of just pump up genetic altering things. Like, this nigga's drugged up to the 10th degree. You, you can't, it's a good battle. It's a really good battle. <laughs> hey, real quick, I just want to add to this. I don't usually go in my videos and edit, like, the audio. I edit, like, the clips. But, like, like I said, this nigga is super pumped up. He's, like, imagine, like, you, yourself right now fighting a super crackhead. Like, sure, you may have the skills to beat the crackhead, but the crackhead just won't give up. Jack whining, he just is not going to give up. This motherfucker, he is as drugged out as a drug addict get. And he's not addicted to the drugs. But I'm going to saying, guys, he is a drug adept as a drug adept human being can get. I'm going to say this. Jack beats him every time, but he barely beats him every time. And except for the scenarios in which Corvo uses espionage and stealth attacks. And I, I, I just don't see it, guys. Um, Let me know what you guys think. Share it to your friends. Share it to your friends, friends. My name has been Hercules. As I'm out this muddy's piece. I've evacuated the premises, so to say. Gives us a like. Gives us a sub. And gives us a share to all your beacon friends. I say some Hercules outs. Do it! I'm glad you were here today. Talk out my fear to my nato a rackness. Bounce like shit. I'm strapped with plasmids. Mega bust up when I'm snapping like a spasm square. What happened? I'm on a tear when I spit. I be everywhere like I'm book of the whip. 